how was yesterday? How was yesterday? And uh, yeah, like w share us the summary for yesterday. How has been the experience? Anything you want to share? Uh, let's go first with Biniam. I can see your camera is on. Biniam, you can take the floor. Hello. Hello. Okay. How are you guys? Um, I hope everybody is doing well. Um, yesterday and uh, since we started the project, it was kind of a lot to take in because I have never like, worked with the, you know, around the blockchain and network at all. And I have also not like uh, minted or worked with NFT assets in the past. So it was a bit challenging to understand how the entire SDK and everything works, but somehow I managed to read everything about it and somehow try to connect the SDK with my fast API and created some endpoints. And I have also explored, uh, I have also explored the DAB flow and everything that was mentioned uh, in the in the challenge document. It was kind of amazing. Also, I have somehow managed to generate a not so good certificate. And I'm not proud of it, but it was nice so far. It's good and it's going well. Today, I will be um, creating um, the front end and the wallet authentication, and then I'll be moving to finishing the back end totally. So that was my day so far. Thank you so much. That is great, Biniam. Thank you so much for sharing. Uh, anyone else who wants to go next? Any volunteer? Hello, hello. Hello, I, I know many of us are ready to share with us, so please take the floor. Uh, let's not wait to be nominated. Yes, Ahmed. Hello, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, yesterday, I uh, submit uh, the interim submission, completed task one, and uh, I started to uh, install uh, the kit, but I, I'm facing uh, error here. I'm trying to solve it. Uh, if I couldn't, uh, I will share it in Slack to, to, get, some, to get some help. Uh, I think that's all. Okay. Uh, do you have any blocker or do you need any support? Ahmed? Uh, uh, I would be appreciate if uh, someone uh, show me how to make the front end or what uh, tools should I use. I am not familiar with React. So any help will be useful. Oh, the, thanks for raising that. Uh, Rahmet, you wanted to add something on that? Yeah, I'm just gonna refer him to check out the tutorials that have been given so far on React. I think we have given tutorial on week zero on React and yesterday also. So I would recommend that and in, on the slides, I put a lot of difference on React on front end framework. So uh, please go back and check that out. Okay, okay thank you. Okay. All right, um, next. Yes, Abel. 
All right, thank you. Uh, so yesterday was a productive day. I was able to finalize uh, the two tasks that I was that I had to submit uh, for the interim submission. It was nice uh, experimenting with the new algorand because I'm not familiar with it, and it's been uh, exciting exploring it. So the thing that I'm facing now is whether I had to uh, deploy another backend for the user authorization or uh, if 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 the bigger uh, algorand backend is enough that's the ambiguity that i'm facing currently uh, rather than that uh, everything is going well and i am uh, excited to be working on this project thank you okay amazing abel any blockers any support you need uh, so I said, uh, I want to be sure if the Algorand Beaker backend is uh, good enough for the user authorization, meaning the admin and the students and the users. If it, that's uh, kind of full, fully fetched, the Algorand backend, I would like to know that. That's the only blocker that I'm facing currently. Okay, uh, Rahmet, about that. Okay, I mean, I think Bika should be fine, but uh, you can test that out, and if it's too much work for you on Bika, you can just move to other options. Is it clear, really, Abin? There are more options to do this thing, so you can respond oh, to okay. also. Okay, so the beaker will do the job, so I have to approach it that way, right? Yeah, because you do the job, I think it's... Okay, Nasra, now you can continue. Sorry, sorry. And when you say authentication, what do you mean exactly? I meant uh, there is on task three, uh, it's asked that uh, there should be a way for the user to request yeah. for their certificate, you know? Yeah, and but that's... There's on the wallet address. You don't need to do any authentications like Gmail or other things. Um, I don't. I, I don't know. Maybe Rahmat could correct me, but Beaker is a blockchain, not a backend, and it it, it is it is it is uh, similar to the concept of backend. But um, if you if you meant to say like um, the concept of signing up and signing in, I don't think yeah, you yeah. Could that. Uh, you, you could do co another concept called Wallet Connect. And that, and that's... I understand that part. Yeah, yeah, you're right. So the thing, the, the thing is, uh, I'm not sure if you have to kind of create a credential for the students or the users so that they can log in and see their status of their certificate or the NFT uh, if mm -hmm. it that's within the project scope. Yeah, that's actually also one thing I was asking Rahma to answer it. Yeah, it's like any other Web2 project. You can give permission to reach out uh, the admin in the training should have access to your application, either your front end or back end. Just give, you would have routes, right, to the admin's function. You, you should give them permission. This function should be accessed by the admin. Maybe give the admin identification with the pub their public password, uh, valid password. Uh, the same goes for the training. Like any web project, you can get permission for the function. Is that, is is that, function. Is that assuming then? Uh, sorry, Rahmat. And uh, is that assuming that the. Um, uh, is that assuming. Uh, yeah, miss. Okay. Is that assuming that the user uh, or Pen Academy somehow has uh, the, the record of the students? each student and wallet address and their email linked to it, then based on that we could do the authentications, isn't it? Yeah, the academy has prior to anything, they have the information of their trainees. So when yeah, you create so your application, yeah, mm -hmm. they can differentiate which functions on your function should be accessed for those users who are not admin. I mean, it would be easier to differentiate the admin functions and there is can be accessed by any user which means that really I don't be. so uh, i think what abel is trying to ask and me actually is that 
a dummy JSON could be a nice example. For example, a dummy JSON that presents some uh, the database of the of Ten Academy as issue student and their role or uh, Ten Academy data and their yeah. linked wallet address or their public wallet address. And somehow based on dummy JSON, we could actually differentiate if the connected wallet is a student or a, a trainee exactly. or a, a, a right. Yeah, right. you can give roles for those uh, users, the trainees in the army, mm -hmm. the, the roles, and based on the roles, you can differentiate which function to access and or not. This and based on that, with authentication yeah. hardware. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So there would be student name and staff as uh, student name, their certification, and it would be a role. The role would be training for the trainees, and for the admin, you can give them an admin role. And based on those role, you can uh, make a condition on your function. This is yeah, so just, if this user like this, he can access this route or this function. Like you get that right. Yeah, yeah. It's like you meant like based on that, we could do simple. Uh, I mean, on the front end, we could simply do connect wallet and check if that wallet address is it, it actually has the role of trainee. Then show the uh, some UI of the trainee or the minting the concept of obtaining yeah, the asset. That's, that's it. If it is yeah, a, that's it. a yeah, then academy role yeah. or an admin, then show the admin portal based on that. Is that that's the easy way on yes. the front end. Okay. Yeah, I hope that has, has answered his question. Yeah, yes, yes, I understand. So basically, it's just we have to do a simple authentication so that we can uh, show how, what functions to execute and what UI to show on the front end. Uh, I'll, I'll yes, try to do that. Thank you. You can you can do further deep authentication if you want, but you can also use a simple one, depending on time. Yeah, Thank you very much. Sure. Thank you so much, Anasrala and Rehmet. Uh, let's continue to Melat. Good morning, guys. So yesterday, uh, I was able to install uh, Algogit. Uh, I was having difficulties installing it on my Windows environment, so I had to install it on my uh, uh, on my Ubuntu Linux environment. So uh, I did that, and I was also able to submit the intern submission, uh, both the uh, GitHub link as well as the report. I guess that was a success for me yesterday. Um, also, I was waiting on the. Um, on the on YouTube videos, that I was waiting for them to be released because I, m some of the concepts was were, weren't really clear for me, especially with the uh, Algorand and stuff. But today, the I mean, I checked yesterday and they were not released. So I was uh, wondering if you could, if you guys could release the videos as soon as you guys can, uh, because. You know, we, the time is really short to do the project and as well as understand those. Um, so uh, this is it, I guess, from my side. Thank you. Well, thanks, Melat. Uh, well, met you got that? Yes, I, I got that. Yes. Yeah. I'll uh, again transfer your request to the next week. Uh, actually, we can continue. I'll transfer your question again. Oh, sorry. sorry, I was on mute. <laughs> okay. Um. All right, Melat, you you heard that. Uh. Let's continue to Aya. Uh. Good good morning, Faskali and everybody. Uh. So yesterday, um, uh, I submitted the deliverables on time. Uh. But the 
generation of that certificate using open ai wasn't that satisfying so i didn't include the picture in the report other than that uh, it was good uh, i had the same doubt as abil uh, which uh, takes tax to use for the uh, front end and back end so i thought a lot about it and uh, decided to go for uh, Django and React because uh, Django has more uh, user management system. Uh, so I was able to integrate both React and Django. And I'm going to use uh, what you call it uh, Algo Django, which uh, integrates the backend with the Algorand blockchain. So yesterday was good. Yeah, thank you. Okay, I'm uh, glad to hear that. Uh, let's continue to anyone else who wants to continue. I can't see any hands raised up anymore. Yes, Sifong. Uh, good morning, everyone. So yesterday was a good day and also a bit of a bad day for me. I was able to submit the interim report with the first, first task completed. Though the first task is not that satisfactory because my CV2 has a problem with inputting the names in the certificate, but the certificate generation with OpenAI is okay. On to the second task, I was also able to install the algo I'll go the Algorand. I was able to run the sandbox. I was also able to to check which stack I wanted to use. So I have tried Fast API. I am also looking into whether I should to use Flask or Django for the back end, and I'll use React for the front end. Uh, yeah, basically that's my yesterday. Today I also plan on continuing with that. Thank you. Okay, amazing phone. Anyone else? Yes, Rudolph. Good morning, everyone. Hope you guys are well. Yesterday was a good day too. And I, I was able to, to submit for the first time, my, my task on time. <laughs> but for the interim, um, I didn't uh, complete all of the tasks because uh, there's a, the, one of the last tasks was asking to, to share our screenshot, our screenshot of uh, uh, the, the, the account we have generated and basically those parts are uh, needed to to do it with a, a sandbox because of it what we did in the tutorial and you know while doing tutorial it is always interactive and you ask questions we can get more understanding but unfortunately we didn't have the tutorial on on youtube but anyway uh, th that is why I didn't submit that part, but uh, in general, it was good. I was able to uh, to generate uh, the the certificate with uh, Open AI and also with the CV two. Yeah. Um, today, um, I'm planning to to continue with the remaining task, uh, especially to get more understanding on how uh, different parts should be connected. Because you know, when you do not have the, the clear understanding on how things are connected, you will, you will struggle very, very too much. So one of my challenges actually is uh, to to be able to to get this clear idea 
And so if someone have a key idea of how things are connected, uh, please uh, he can reach me so that and explain to me. It will help me to move on and and go far in the work. So that is it. Thank you. Okay, amazing progress, Rudolf. Uh, let's take another one. We still have many minutes. Uh, Yoftahe, Gizal. Yoftahe, can you hear us? All right, uh, Carrot. Uh, good morning, guys. Uh, I'm on site, so I couldn't speak. Uh, so my day yesterday was uh, not bad. Uh, I managed to submit the interns and submission on time. But uh, I think just as everyone says, I'm also having a bit difficulty following up because yeah. Okay. I'm sorry, Carol. Binyam, your microphone is on. Yeah, I think you can. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so I think it will be help helpful if you, do, if you can get uh, the YouTube videos on time, they like the other loops. So uh, as a result, I'm good. I'm happy with my progress. Thank you. Thank you. All right, thanks, Kerod. Um, Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Oh, great. It's all right. Uh, Haptamu. Haptamu, are you there? If not, we will go to Dirba. You ready to share with us the progress? Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, so is there is some background noise? If my sound is not clear, sorry. Uh, yesterday I was trying to set up my sandbox. Uh, my laptop is a little uh, slow. I was trying to resolve the, some of my laptop's problem. In it. I just uh, set up my sandbox in the afternoon. I submit my some uh, interim submit uh, later. Thank you. Okay, keep it up, dear bro. Uh, Birhan. All right, um, a shade too. A shade too, all right, yes, please uh, keep sharing them in the chat box as well. We read from there. Uh, let's speak a few other people. Um, Lillian. Lillian. 
<laughs> Viviana, are you there? Oh, what happened today? It seems like uh... okay, Lillian. Yes, you can type in the chat box. Any other two people who wants to share voluntarily? Any other people from Aaron, Thomas, Abdullahmid Musa, Mikias, Meron, yes, Mikias. Good morning, morning everyone. Yep. Oh, yesterday was a good day for me too. I was able to generate the certificates that was required, and I was also able to dynamically add name, logo, uh, and other information I did. And I was also able to install uh, Algo Git on my machine. And today I will be taking a step back to there are some concepts that I am still trying to figure out in the web street. So I'll be taking a step back and reading some materials that was shared on the document. And after that, I'll start tackling task street. And I had some questions, but I will already ask it. Uh, it was answered by an academic, uh, academic. What I would like to suggest uh, is the, the videos that uh, they I think they should be uploaded uh, uh, soon uh, we shouldn't wait this much long because they are very helpful they will help us to uh, deliver more so this is from my side thank you all right thanks mikias the videos will be ready very soon really uh, apologies for the delay um well Hello. thanks for raising that Meron? Yes. Hello. Yeah, we can hear you. Uh, yesterday, I was trying to read about the terms listed in the document, like Wave 3, Wave 2, and Algorand. Then I prepared the interim report and submitted on time. Uh, I also trying to set up Sandbox, cloned the repo and try to start but it can't complete it says one or more services failed to start still i am facing this issue anyone why don't you try using algo instead of uh, the sandbox I yeah think it's much better yes Instead of the sandbox, why don't you try using Algo Kit? Algo Kit? Yes, Is it's that better? better. Yes, it's much better and easier to speak up. Okay, thanks. I'll try. Okay. Thank you. All right. Amazing. Um, Maroon? Ekram? Okay. Hey everyone. Uh, so how are you all? So quick, quick stand up from my side. Yesterday I was able to submit all the deliverables, even if it was an intensive day, trying to figure out how to start working with all the algorithm technology. Uh, and for today, I'm planning to work on task three related to front end and back end, uh, and to attend all the tutorials. So have a good, amazing productive productive day amazing aircraft have a good day too um yeah i believe that's it we are not left with anyone else um 
only those who the interest uh, share in the chat box, but thanks Abraham, Yoftahe, Yerusarema, <coughs> Lillian, and the Shetu who shared in the chat box. We can see the progress. So Rehmet, anything you want to ask or anything you want to add uh, before we close the space? No, there is nothing. Thank you. All right, great. Uh, thanks everyone for attending. Just a uh, quick, uh, just quick, um, quick updates about today's schedule. We are going to be going straight into day four uh, tutorial on wallet integration right, uh, you know, a few minutes after the stand up. And then we'll be having CBS and then we have a careers tutor. Or so um, after that, we'll be having a guest talk. It's already shared in the broadcast, all broadcast channel. We are going to be hosting Jacques. He's a co-founder and former chief executive officer of Adrudio. And uh, he will just be sharing us his expertise on utilizing generative AI as a business owner and searching talents. His company has been hiring most of the talents from Ten Academy. So this is going just to be a crucial session to even ask him any curiosity or any questions that you have when it comes to employer partners who hires or who gets interest into hiring you guys, into hiring the Ten Academians. Uh, yeah, hope we get to see everyone there. And then after the guest talk, we have the final tutorial for the day on advanced Python testing. That will be it. Uh, let's get ready for the day. And I hope it becomes a productive one to, uh, to all of you. Okay. All right, all right, everyone. See you on the other side of the course.